I've been having conversations, light conversations, mind you. I'm not even gonna lie, light conversations um, about the Thomas Knowledge Store. And um, I have to, I have to pick it back up. That's my, that's me though. Every now and then, I think, I think I've said enough, and it's like, well, just look at the thing, right? And it's not enough. I think I've said enough, and it's not enough. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, <clears throat> Aries Bookman, the only one putting the man back in manifestation. There's, there's certain things to the idea of masculinity that don't get talked about. Dudes are put on game. Um, and so I make an effort to do so. Not because I'm the pinnacle of anything, but because if the, what I'm thinking is at least we start in a conversation, right? No, wrong, wrong. Motherfuckers look at somebody follow. Stop. Look, all right. For the next few days, I want to go over real quick um, the principles of masculine medicine. Um, each principle, there's three of them. Each principle has a practice and a theory side. And... I got. I have to say it. It's this is not motivation or inspiration. This is not motivation and inspiration. Because some of y'all think if I get motivated, if I feel different, I'm gonna do different. But what's gonna happen is, as soon as you feel different, you're gonna stop doing all together. Because that was the only reason you was doing to begin with. This is beyond just how you feel. I'm not telling you don't have feelings, but I'm saying there's a whole world that exists beyond. Them. So, anyways, the first principle of masculine medicine. All right. Um, be willing to take an L. There's a theory and a practice side. Uh, hope all is well. It's well enough. Well enough not to complain about it. What do you mean? <laughs> I think we should talk soon. I will DM you for a session, bro. I'm ready now. Hey, man, you know where to find me, bro. You know where to find me. Um, each principle has a theory and a practice side. So you know what we're talking about and you know what you can do. Okay. Um, there's three principles. The first principle is this, and this is the theory side. Be willing to take an L. Be willing to take an L. Oh. You know, we get, we get caught up in the idea of, I want to win. I want to win. I want to win. Congratulations. And that's fine. Everybody wants to win. As a matter of fact, motherfuckers who say, I want everybody to win. Don't understand what a win is. It's part of the reason I have to say this shit. Um, in order for them to be to win, somebody got to lose. In order for you to win, there has to be the risk of losing. You have to be willing to take an L. You're going to take a bunch of them. You're going to. As a male, you're going to take a bunch of L's. All males have to face the burden of performance. And it's not a complaint. It's not a bug in the system. It's a feature of the system. It's how the system works. This is not what females and children are, are, are required to do. They may want to try it, which is fine, which is fine. They, you know, they can try. They, that's how they're going to do. But as a male, you're going to have to rise to the burden of performance in some respect. OK, um, some people call it uh, being a dancing monkey. I get it. That's funny. You call it what you want to. It is what it is. And it's going to be that till it's not. And I don't think there's going to be a till it's not. It's always going to be that. You know, people think, OK, it's not fair. Why, why should I have to do this and they don't have to do that? It's nature shit, bro. Like, you know, it's not even it's not because I'm saying it. It's nature shit. If you if you're mad at it, you can punch a tree for real, real shit, man. Like, it's not. I don't think it's fair either, but I don't think it's supposed to be fair to be completely honest. I don't think it's supposed to be fair. Okay. Be willing to take an L. An L is a loss. You have to, you have to risk. You have to risk the possibility of losing and losing hard, bro. And, and, and see, I wouldn't even necessarily say it's a universal law. Like, oh, I would say it's a masculine law, okay? Because the feminine don't necessarily have to do that. The feminine don't have to do that. They may want to try, you know, they don't have to do that. Somebody's always coming to save that. I don't care if she, she decided to be a lesbian or trans or she was a hoe. Don't matter. Somebody's coming to get a piece of that, all right? 
you know, with babies, somebody, oh, there's always going to be somebody who looks at that mother and goes, oh, look at that. I got to They shouldn't have to. Da, 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 da. OK, cool. Look, once again, not complaining. It is what it is. But you, you have to face it. And so in order to in order to actually get there, you're going to have to be at least willing to take an L, willing to risk the possibility. Any game that you play where you can win, you have to risk losing. Uh, fair is not fair or not is so beside the point type. Yes, it's 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 an emotional argument. Uh, the winner lost more than the loser tried to win. There you go, sir. There you go. Exactly. The motherfucker who who has won. Like when you look and see a motherfucker who's got the benefits of being a winner, they've lost more times than you can imagine. And, but that's it's par for the course. And so if you're gonna make it up to the to the to the level of of, of reaching your burden of performance, you're gonna have to risk losing a lot. You're going to have to risk losing a lot. So that's the theory side of the principle. Okay. Be willing to take an out. But some folks, they, they, they're not even willing to take an out. And you, uh, and, and okay. You can be that person. You'd be like, okay, well, how do I, how do I be willing to take it out? That's where the practice side of the principle comes in. The practice side of the first principle is play to win play to win okay i think that reaction of saying unfair is part of a feminized masculinity because that's about emotion yeah, exactly it's an emotional argument yes sir yes sir and i'm not telling you whether or not it's right or wrong what you should or shouldn't do if we, so we talk about what you should or shouldn't do that's the practice side of the principle play to win all right it's it's wonderful that you can spot potential losses that's good that's great that's half that's half the battle okay but you can't move based on what the potential losses are because this is what will happen you'll end up you'll end up only accounting for potential losses and so i do this to make sure i don't lose here i do this to make sure i don't lose here i do this to make sure i don't lose here and i do that to make sure i don't lose over there okay cool wonderful you're not gonna lose great well it feel like you're not gonna lose but you haven't made any contingencies for winning you have to play to win I was just saying that because that's a very known saying where I'm at in Belgium. Okay. Uh, across the pond. <laughs> there you go. Two groups that fear. Yeah, fear. Fear is natural. I'm not telling you to be fearless and have no fear. Fear is natural. It has its utility. But being courageous or brave, that's your willingness to face the fear. Your willingness to, to, to get up and do something about it. You don't have to do it every single time, all the time. I'm not. I'm not trying to tell you motivation and inspiration. Always, always, always. No, 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 no. You're gonna have fear. Sometimes it's gonna kick your ass. It's gonna lay you on your. It's gonna lay you on your back. I get it. It's gonna lay you on your fucking back sometimes. But you gotta play to win. Like wh where I learned the idea of play to win is um is learning spades. Um, <laughs> I think sometimes it's a bit of a rite of passage for, for niggas, right? Like, you know, the old folks playing spades. I ain't learned to play spades since I was in college. But we're playing spades. <laughs> Four people, right? Each people, each person who's across from you, they're on your team. And so you got to watch what your partner is playing so y'all can play together and beat the other pair. But what will happen sometimes, especially if you're not into the game and you're not and you're new to the shit, you won't watch what your partner plays. And so it's your turn and you got cards on the table and you don't know who played what. And you can't say nothing because that's cheap. That's called. Well, I don't know. It's not necessarily called reneging, but it's cheating. It's against the rules to, to talk across the table to your partner. So what do you do in those situations? All three other people play. You don't know what your partner played. And you sitting there looking at your hand. Now you worry. You worry that you're going to cut your partner. You worry that you're going to. You're going to play something that's going to undercut what your partner played and waste y'all's time all right you worried about that i get it it's, it's something to be worried about it's it and it's it's, it's 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 rational it's reasonable because you don't know you don't know you don't want to cut them out because then you're gonna lose the book you're gonna lose the points and you may as well you might even lose the game off based off of some shit like that right you're right it's terrifying you don't know what to do the solution is play to win that's what i was taught Next time, pay attention, nigga. Pay attention to the fucking game. Okay, you didn't. You slipped up. I get it. I see you, bro. Play to win. Play to win. 
Don't even worry about whether or not you're going to cut them out. You're right. You see it. I get you. You're not wrong about that. But what you have to do is play to win. See, when you're playing to win, you're not playing going, okay, I'm going to set this up so I don't lose here. I'm going to set this up so I don't lose here. It's like, yeah, you can do some of that, but your main focus has to be, I'm going to set this up so I can win. I'm going to strive for the win. See, avoiding a loss isn't striving for a win. That's the first thing you have to you have to understand in masculinity, period. Matter of fact, you figure out you can do the rest of you can do whatever the fuck you want, you do that. Because you'll get to the win. And once you're a win, once you're a winner, motherfuckers like winners. Because girls don't necessarily have to win. All right. They they usually wait at the finish line to see whoever the winner is and fuck with the winner. And it's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. Okay? It's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. Play to win. Play to win. That's the practice side. So once again, the first principle of masculine medicine, be willing to take an L. All right. You cannot win in a game that you don't risk losing in. Only thing you gonna get out of that is a, is a participation trophy. And everybody who plays gets that. Right? You, don't, you don't want that. That's not a win. See, when you when you when you have a victory, it's because you've taken it. You set up the rules. Each side comes and they compete as hard as they can. And look, you might, well, what if they don't follow the rules? Fuck that. A lot of people don't follow the rules sometimes. They got the victory. That was the point. I'm not telling you don't follow the rules. You do what you want to do. But you can't be stopped because somebody don't follow the rules. That's going to fuck you up. You're going to be sitting around waiting for the fairest game. Fairest. Oh, the, the game isn't fair. Okay, a lot of games ain't fair. Get 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 into the flow. Become part of the game. Stop waiting for everything to be fair for you. Gotta tell you what, you went you went in the game where shit wasn't fair, boy. You even better than the motherfuckers who had to cheat. It's real. It's real shit. It's not just because I'm saying it. Be willing to take an L. You have to risk the possibility that you're gonna lose if you're gonna win. That's how you take a victory. All right. When you get a default victory, when you get participation trophy. You don't get the victory you want. You don't take the victory you want. What you do is you hope that they give you a victory that's suitable. You hope that somebody gives you a victory that's suitable with a default win. All right. So that's the theory. Be willing to take an L. The practice, play to win. Play to win. Yes, losses are there. Yes, you can see them. You're not wrong about that. But you ha you have to move towards a victory. And, and moving away from loss is not the same thing as moving away from victory. I mean, moving towards victory, rather. But every time I get to talking, bro, my shit go out. What do you mean? Because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm getting over myself for the fact that, yes, I've said it. Yes, I've said it. <laughs> but you can't take what I'm saying as just motivation and inspiration, because it's not. Because it's not, bro. It's really not. It's, it's I'm, I'm so serious. There's a, there's a whole world of strategy beyond motivation and inspiration when i'm talking is strategy what i'm talking to you about is strategy it's beyond the realm of motivation and inspiration because sometimes you gotta you gotta get up and go get the win even when it don't you don't like it i know i hate that shit too but it, it don't make it not true no we can sit together in a group and be like hey we don't like this we don't like that we don't like that that's that's, that's all that we can, you can do that, but that's not going to get you closer to a win. What's going on, Mr. Blanco? Good to see you in the chat, man. What are you smoking on? <laughs> weed or just tobacco? It's just tobacco. I ain't smoked on no weed in, in months now. For real. I was having a bit of a reaction to it. Not the paranoia thing, but like an allergic reaction. It, was, it wasn't good. Uh, it was probably better for me anyways. One of these days, I'm going to stop smoking this too. Who knows? <laughs> I'd like to think so, but I don't even know. Anyways, um, oh, hello, Mr. Cicada. This nigga grown, too. Oh, shit. Hello, this nigga wave, too. That was up, bro. I see you, man. <laughs> yeah. Play to win. Play to win. That's the practice. How do I, how do I, how do I uh, uh, stop avoiding the L's? How do I become willing to take an L? Okay, here's how you do the theory side is the practice side. And that's play to win. Play to win. You're not wrong that losses exist. You're not wrong that that may, that may lead you to a loss. But on the other side of all those things is a win. And you have to risk the loss in order to get the win. It's, it's, it can be so simple. It can be as simple as that. 
I know in practice it gets hard, it's scary, you don't know what to do, you're alone, it hurt, you're tired, you're not wrong, you're not wrong, but you still got to play to win, homie bounced out, nah, it was good man, good to see you man, you still got to play to win, even if nobody's rooting for you, even if everybody against you, even if they only fuck with you when they win, just remember, peep it, peep it, peep the motherfuckers is only there when you win it. That's all you need to do. You have to play to win. That's the practice side of the theory. Please check out the timeless knowledge store. Can you give an example? Yes, yeah, more. I'll, I'll get an example I gave a second ago. Um, it's it's in spades. It's in spades, bro. Like you you and your partner playing, and you weren't paying attention, and all three of them cards is on the table, and it's your turn. You're going last, and you ain't watched what your partner put down, and now you're at a risk of losing the game. You're at a risk of cutting your partner out. What do you do? You play to win. You put down the card that's going to win the book. You put down the card that's going to win the book and pay attention next time. Take your L. That's my fault. I wasn't watching. That's my fault. I should have been paying attention. Now the rules ain't unfair. I'm not supposed to talk across the table. They, that's right. Play to win. Yeah, you may cut your partner out, but that was the case when you wasn't paying attention. Hell yeah. The ancestor wrestler has made the play to win easier. I don't have to worry about the day-to-day as much as I used to. Helping me tap into the hurt. Hey man, look. There are places where this shit will overlap. I won't even lie to you. Where where the the masculinity and the you know, manifestation, um, the magic shit, the metaphysics, it'll it'll overlap in certain places. I won't even lie to you. But 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 real shit, I I some because some people don't really get into the metaphysics like that and the magic and shit and that's fine you don't need that necessarily to get this masculine shit man play to win play to win be willing to take it out you cannot win in a game you're not willing to lose it you can't responsibility is key no pointing no fingers yeah unless you're pointing them at yourself because that's the beauty the beauty about pointing the finger at yourself you don't have to wait on nobody else to change to get where you want to go See, if I'm pointing the finger, oh, you didn't do it fair. Now I got to wait for that motherfucker to start being fair before I can get to where I want to go. Oh, you you ain't pay attention to me right. Oh, you didn't say what you were supposed to say. Now I got to wait on those motherfuckers to pay attention to say what they're supposed to say. Mm-mm. I mean, look, you do that, but you're going to end up waiting on somebody else to get where you want to go. When you point the finger at yourself, when you rise above the need to blame the motherfuckers, you put the, you put the ball back in your court. Okay, look. You did that? Cool. What did I do? How did I fuck up? Yeah, maybe they fucked up 90%. Where was the 10% I fucked up? That's all me. Let me work on that right now. Because maybe I'm so powerful that just my 10% caused the whole thing. Stand up. Play to win. Be willing to take it out. That's the first principle of masculine medicine. Please check out the Timeless Knowledge Store. Check out the Timeless Knowledge Store. If you feel some kind of way doing it by yourself, find somebody else who might want to get on that shit, bro. Check out the Timeless Knowledge Tour. Don't watch it for just motivation and inspiration. Look, here's the motivation for you. Go. You can do it. Great job. You believe in yourself. Even if they don't, believe in yourself. There you go. Motivation. Motivation and inspiration. That's what you need. I'm telling you it's not what you need. I'm telling you it's not what you need. You need strategy. You need strategy. Not motivation and inspiration. Because strategy going to work even when you don't feel motivated and inspired. Strategy going to work even when you don't feel motivated and inspired. Um, that I already called spirit or work. Hold on. What is that? That I already called spirit or work with need to grow more. And I feel like you would be a great mentor. Mm. I probably would, but I'm... The, the thing I don't like about mentoring is motherfuckers want me to do for them while they can't really do nothing. And, and I have to I have to look to the future to to get any kind of reciprocity in that shit. And, you know, cool. I get the feeling I get the desire. But it's like, where where is my where are the motherfuckers doing that? Like, how long am I supposed to do that? Like, that's what your daddy and, and them for, you know, and dad being a dad is a thankless job, man. So I'm like, and this is what I'm saying. I don't want to have to pay. I want to have to charge y'all, man. I put the shit out here. Check out the Timeless Knowledge Store, bro. It's like easily 15 hours of live stream. You don't even have to listen to me. You can go watch the Black Phillips show on your own. The Timeless Knowledge Store is a guided tour of the Black Phillips show. 
We go through the principles of uh, ma masculine medicine. We go through managing misandry and we go through method to the madness. Don't nobody else got a framework for you. Well, I stop. But it's all right, though. Hell yeah, Mr. Blanco. Get, get your ass in the guild, man. If y'all want to get, y'all want to understand the magic shit, the practical magic and making it part of your everyday life, get in the guild. If you want to understand the masculinity and making it part of your everyday life, take the timeless knowledge store. As a matter of fact, do both. Uh, we can talk just so what you want for an intro convo and I won't waste my waste your time. I do the consultations. I'm a consultant. Like um, like most people just offer consultations on the side. I am a consultant. I am a consultant. Check out a cultcornerstore.com. I got all the prices up there. You can you can sign up for it right there. It'll be it'll be easy, bro. You get the recordings. We give you I give you assignments so that we can not only track your progress, but sort of um, temper it to get you moving in a direction. Because that what you need direction more than you need discipline, because if you don't have direction, you're just going to be pushing yourself towards who knows what you want direction. That's what I mean when I say like play to win. That's direction. That's direction. You can be disciplined in that if you like. Take your time if you like. I don't care. But you have to have the direction first. Otherwise, the discipline ain't going to do nothing for you, man. All right, y'all be good, bro. Y'all check out the Timeless Knowledge Store. Y'all be good.